And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time, fuzzy fuzz show. My name is Kapoor. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex. We're going to check out the K-Line M fuzz. Yes. Today. Or M fuzz. M fuzz. Papa, M fuzz. Henning should use it. <laughs> He's a Hanson fan. <laughs> He's a Hanson fan. It's all gone downhill already. Yeah. So this is kind of straight ahead, three knob classic fuzz design. Even says it on the front. Yeah, that classic. Um, yeah, we're going to check out some sounds. If you hit like and subscribe on the channel, ding the bell. Uh, give us a thumbs up and comments, questions below. That'd be great. Sure. Mm. Yes. So, um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Hey, like there's a level of fuzz control and tone. Yes, and it's red. Yeah. Red cool. always goes faster. That's all there is to it uh, as far as control wise. So the setup today, we're going to pedal into a Mostronx amp switcher and there's a uh, Cherry Tone OTS MIDI 20 head set clean. And Racing then stroke. That goes into a two notes torpedo Captor X. Yes, That's which right. is there. And it's just a um, set clean IR thing. And Revo. Uh, and there's a video for that here. And mm. bonjour, Guillaume. And mm. hello, Jason. Uh, okay. At two nights. So, yeah. Should we... Um, that's pretty much the pedal. Get in some sounds. Sure. You want to go? Me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start off with this fan on this MG6, uh, which is lovely. And if I play a G chord on it, it sounds like this. Uh, all right, let's go everything 12 o'clock. See what it sounds like with the same G chord. Oh, what's the turn of volume up? Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. No, it sounds it's fat. It's a fat fuzz. That fuzz is fat. <laughs> it should be the F fuzz. Sure. Or maybe it's mighty fat fuzz, M. But then we'd be in MF fast. Nah, it doesn't That needs to be in an expression pedal. Yeah. That's like a mighty, it's, mighty it's, tone it's crazy. sweep. Cool. Yeah, super thick and it does uh, like a bit of tone because it gets pretty thick and woolly and dark yeah. otherwise. Uh, I never do this, but let's try because if fuzzes people always roll the volume. Could be also P90s thing, but yeah, sure. we'll try it with other pickups. Should check out the fuzz range. Yes, please. I'll do the fuzz demo riff, riff thing. <laughs> Okay, cool, yeah. That's cool. It's yeah. a lot of fuzz there. I mean, hang on, if we just, just again, just do the G chord. Not with P90s, maybe, but what about with single chords? Telly thing. So it's the clean tone. Do the old start at 12 o'clock again.
That's cool. Like, it's super blown out, but... Yeah. All right, sounds cool. So that was everything on full there for a second. Groovy. Should try uh, the real low gain settings. Okay. Interesting sound, low too. It's very just thick and and Super thick. and round. Slug? Like even with the tone all the way up, it's not a harsh fuzz. But it still has this aggression in it, like yeah, angry, angry, yet mellow. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work. The old go, angry go on, mellow. Go on, your guitar. Okay, so uh, humbuckers. I'm going to use this Sire uh, Larry Carlton uh, L7. Mm. When we pretend that we're dead, dead, dead. If you're a child from the 90s, you know that song. Um, by L7. Yeah, I guess that's an L7. That's a joke. Okay. Uh, and with a G chord, it sounds like this. With a G chord, it sounds like this. Start with humbuckers. That is humbuckers. Yeah, but I mean, it's right with humbuckers, the tone, the volume oh, thing. The... Goes dark. It doesn't yeah. do that thing where it goes bright like a lot of other fuzzes do. That still works. Um, it's cool. It's fat. It's super fat. Definitely. Um, oh, yeah, it's, it's, I, I'm not a hundred percent sure what classic fuzz it's based on. Yeah, sure. To me, it's sort of a bit of a, it has some muff-esque vibes to it, but then it also doesn't. Mm. Um, so I'm not sure if it goes after one specific cl classic fuzz or it's trying to sort of be a bit of, bit of everything. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the massive tone sweep, just that. That would be so actually really cool on a on an expression. Um, it's cool. Lots of sustain. For l lack of a better word, that violin esque. Yeah. Or cello esque, maybe even viola. This. Viola. Some sort of string section. Ask. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, it's cool. What do you guys think? Leave comments below. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'd use it, but it's very likable. Should we just very quickly yeah. try it into a dirty amp? Sure. So this is what a dirty amp sounds like. <laughs>
It gets very fuzzy. Super fuzz. Super fuzzy. Yeah. So it works into Dirty Amp as well. Definitely. Yeah. So yes, let us know uh, how would you use it. Uh, do you have one of these? Do you use it? Um, yeah. Or do you like what it sounds like? Uh, should I, did I mention at the start that was sent to us by K-Line? So big thank you yeah, to the, the people at K-Line. Uh, they sent us this pedal. Uh, there's a bunch of other K-Line videos. Let's say there's one here. Which one? Do you remember? Um, what was the sunset one? Sun, sunset? Sun something. Sun, yeah. That was the one that was there. <laughs> Dual pedal. It was a cool pedal too, yes. actually. Yeah. Um, sun, no, sunset Sound is a studio. It is. It was something about sunsets. It'll be up there. It'll be up there. Um, yeah, thanks for hanging. Like I said, comments below. Yeah. And also links below to Instagram, Facebook, and podcast. Please check them out if you've got some time. Awesome. Thank you so much. And thank you again, Kayline. Uh, thank you, Sire. Cheers. Thank you. Fano. Just hit yourself in the leg. Hit myself in the leg, but that's all right. <laughs> thanks. Ah. See you Bye. Soon. Bye. Bye.